would you look at that tainted thing of beauty. Why I decided to take on that accent, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so I went into the nether and gathered a crap load, butt load, shit ton uh, of glowstone, um, any that I could semi-easily reach. Um, as you can see, that one's not right just because I wanted to put something in the middle of that hallway. There's a couple that, you know, there's one block apart um, that I put just one in the middle. I'm not sure if I'm happy about that one. Uh, but anyway, I just decided to throw them all in. It kind of sparkles, doesn't it? Just sparkles. Sparkle. <laughs> so, um... I am dubbing this a completely safe uh, village. Uh, it's got the completely safe village seal of approval. Um, I got my cows. I've already killed some. There's, I think, I think that looks great. The doggy, the the rust doggy run. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm just gonna, okay, from now, now I need to figure out what I want to put there. Uh, what I want to put there. There's some space in this back area. There's some space here. There's some space all the way down here. And then there's this big square here. Um, I could do like a, uh, like a garden. I could do something like that. I think only space here would be houses. Um, at some point, maybe in the future, I wouldn't mind extending this village outward so that it encompasses the uh, nether portal. Um, so those are some goals there. Uh, probably something I'll do offline. Um, let's see if we can get down. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I like I like the setup as far as village goes. If I do any other villages, if there were any other, I think actually there's one very very small one in that direction. It's like three buildings. Um, I just like making them safe. And this one is officially safe. The uh, villagers are protected. Uh, now all I need to do is make it more thriving. I need more villagers. I also got rid of all of that goddamn grass. <sighs> I just took water and I went like that. And I got rid of it. So, that's that. Um, so I'm probably gonna, you know, stop recording and, uh, rain. I'm gonna stop recording and rain. <laughs> rain dance. Uh, I just totally, um, I totally was, I, I, I made fun of them. So, my cows, oh god, they're grown up, let me go get my meat. Hopefully you can hear me over the rain! <laughs> you know you have a good house when you're right in the middle. Right in the middle it goes quiet and muffled. Um, it's obvious, my house is obviously not tall enough for us to be just completely silent right in the middle. Okay. What do I need? See, I got no stone up the woozy. The who's it's.
population. One third. So take it in half. That's one third. Don't ask me math. Ah! Don't ask me math problems. Get out of my friggin' way, cow. Oh my god, cow. stop recording for now. I still need to figure out how to do this corner. Not sure. I may have to like bring these walls up. This one right here. This one right here. Maybe do some sort of arch thing. You can see the donkeys from up here. I, um, for the, for the dogs, I, uh, put a shelter in, so I wouldn't feel so bad about them being up the rain. See? Toby and Robert are doing it. It looks like they just like playing in the rain. They're so cute. Um, okay. Who's my hellhound? I got one. I think it's Sam. Come here, Sam. Come here. parents. to do a quick update uh, back at the main house. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think anything's going to grow there. Although I thought it would. I may have to go back into my older world and see like what the hell, you know? Alright, so I just wanted to quickly show you Maggie and Emily are back to normal. Except Emily is the correct height and has a nose. Look at it. Look at it. So small. So cute. Oops. I gave her the shorter legs. Um, she is squat and fat. <laughs> um, Maggie is lean, mean, fat, and machine. And Emily squat and fat. <laughs> uh, I could probably just... No, their tails, both tails are really long. Except Emily's is like mop ball on the back of her on the back so uh and i fixed i fixed the back of her tail she her butt she has a spot on her butt a spot in her eye so it's fixed now she's cute little nose yay for mod updates <laughs> uh and i want to show you um 
Norbert, previously Hogger, <laughs> I also updated his texture pack, uh, texture, um, mainly because, uh, I just wanted him to look like, um, like he belonged in the nether. I believe this is from a video game. I'm going to butcher the name, so I'm prefer not to say it. And the wart's doing fine. But there's Norbert. And, you know, just put him here so Norbert wouldn't feel so alone. Maybe I should get Norbert a friend. I don't know. Ack! Come on! Let me in! So I believe it was episode um, 35, Building with EB Part 1, uh, where I talked about how I'm going to wipe my computer. I am not going to do that until like Tuesday, because uh, I need to use my computer, I need to have access to it all this weekend and uh, Monday. So after Monday, I'll probably start the process. And I have three new houses. Um, I realized that my cow pen is not anywhere near big enough. I'm going to make it huge uh, because there's, there's just not enough cows. Um, I turned off hunger for the dogs, I don't know, I felt overwhelmed by her managing it, uh, maybe, <laughs> let me, oh, get rid of the meat, uh, I felt re overwhelmed by her managing it, so, uh, maybe there should be levels, like, easy, hard, and, easy and hard, like, their hunger goes away slowly, hunger goes away quickly, I don't know. I don't want to be prescriptive about the mod. Uh, works great! <laughs> don't mind me. Don't mind the person behind the curtain. Alright, we need a gate so villagers don't fall in. That would be bad. It would be hella funny, but it'd be bad. You look a villager! Um, I hope they're using some of these houses. Part of my problem is that with the villagers, I wish that it was one villager per door. You know, so if there was already one villager uh, set to, let's say, this door, there couldn't be another villager set to that door. Does that make sense? Um, I don't, I like, I like the idea that, that you know, when morning comes and they all leave their houses, they're all leaving at different areas of the village. Instead, they're kind of centering on this area because that's where, I mean, this is the original, this is the original minus my improvements. That's just my only issue, tissue, with it at this moment. Oh, oh 
Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. It's getting late. Um, I've tried to record as much as possible this weekend. Um, and it's probably still not enough um, to uh, to cover the days that I won't be able to record. Um, if that makes any sense. Probably does. I'm just being weird. Let's see if we can't fix this. I don't know how I'm going to fix this. I like the idea that there's this tower. Maybe I need to make it taller. I just didn't want to look like a barn and silo sort of thing. Does that make sense? that, yeah, I didn't want it to be a barn and a silo, I wanted it to be, uh, like a deck. So maybe what I need to do is, I don't have any dark wood on me, I need dark wood and dark wood. actually really proud of this house. I think it's better of the cabin type houses that I've made. Yeah, I like that. The yeah. Uh, okay, so like that. And then I don't give you much space. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, never mind. I was going to talk about something, but nah, I decided not to. Because I'm an information tease like that. Um, it's looking a little better. the opening then we'll do what will we do oh I hate that only too high <laughs> no thank you Better. I'm not 100% happy with it though. It is better though. Yeah, I was playing with the hunger and I was just feeling way overwhelmed. You can be overwhelmed and you can be underwhelmed, but can you ever just be whelmed? <laughs> oh, movies. Movies that make me happy. We need to go on an adventure. We need to slay things. Hey, cows are adults now. I realized I was killing cows, and I should have been using a dog that drops the hunter dog. I was all up in that. Let's bring in a hundred dollars. 
don't remember which one is a hunter dog. Need to get my colors straightened out. Excuse me. You're not. You're not. Eek, Theo, come here. You are kinda. Theo is. Robert. Fred. Where's Fred? Fred is. Well, he's more than Theo. There goes my phone. I do apologize. Alright, Fred. I should probably check it out. I'm probably gonna have to cut this short. I've been requested. Nope, Toby, get your fluffy butt back in there. Well, I assume fluffy. for now. There we go. Alright. See ya next time or in a few moments. Doggies! Hello again. This is Purple Ebi Chan. Um, so, I got some big news! As I say that in a very bad accent. Ha ha ha! Well, it's not really big news. I just actually have things to talk about today. Aren't we excited? <laughs> um, hmm. Hit dirt, because it's just so friggin' loud. You just can't hear nothing. I'm going to make this bigger. Uh, and I'm going to build another test certificate breeder. Alright, so, uh, today at work was really great. Um, I, uh, I have these two computers, right? Two computers. Uh, no, not two computers. Two printers. I have two printers. And they are currently connected to my computer via USB. Now, this wouldn't be a problem, except they're very large printers. And they take up a lot of room. And I would rather them to be somewhere else um, than having them needing to be less than 15 feet. I think the USB length is 15 feet. Um, currently they have to be 15 feet or closer to me. Um, so, uh, it's been a long running need that, uh, I needed to get them on the network. Problem is, is I didn't actually know how. <laughs> oh, of course. Who do I ask? Da 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 da! Dad. Um, D-man. Um. I always go up to him, I'm all like, sup, D? And, and he, you know, raises his eyebrow at me, and it's great. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? <laughs> uh, I, or, I, or I walk up to him, and I kind of stand there, and I smile, and he's like, what do you want? <laughs> What's wrong now? <laughs> Uh, so basically it was like, get a switch, plug switch from Ethernet from wall to Ethernet to switch, then plug printer, printers, and your computer into switch. No, the computer doesn't need to be in the switch, uh, but it can be, and you know, it'll make it go faster, the internet. So I was like, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. So I go up to our IT guy at work, and I'm like, IT guy, do we have a switch? <laughs> and he, he looks at me, 
And he slowly pans around in his, you know, wheelie chair and says, matter of fact, I think I do. <laughs> and he pulls out this ginormous box. Okay, it may sound more funny to me um, because I just kind of feel dumb about the whole thing. <laughs> so he, he pulls out this ginormous box like it's like, it's like slow motion panning in front of my face as I'm doing hand gestures that you cannot see. Uh, and he's like, here you go. And I'm like, okay. And then I also, shit. And then I also need a uh, dedicated IP address. And I'm trying to get into, kind of getting into the minutia here, but and he's like, okay, okay. And then he helps me get one of the, the big printer. I have a 24 inch wide by 150 feet long printer. So, I mean, it can print 150 feet long at the width is 24 inches. So that's my, my big baby. Call him Marlin. Uh, <laughs> we were able to get Marlin on, uh, Marlin in pretty easily, uh, because Marlin has a, uh, a display, you know, you can plug numbers in. And, um, excuse me, uh, then, okay, so we were able to get Marlin on, and then, but the problem is, is that Big Bertha, the other big large format printer, which is not a large format printer, but it is a large format printer, it's, uh, Design Jet 70, you can look it up, uh, it, uh, it, it does not have a display. I don't think I need anything. Why am I coming in here? It's probably because I'm talking. <laughs> I can't get through the damn door. So, uh, it does not have a heads a display. So, uh, I was like, oh, well, what do we do? And uh, I was like, well, I, I told Mark to leave. I'm like, Mark, you just, you just, I mean, oh, shit. I told my IT guy to leave. And I told him, that, you know, just, just go. I will, I will, you know, try and get this to work. The, the 70 requires a, um, a, come on brain, come on. It requires, it uses a, um, website, a local host website to launch its utility. Now since Snow Leopard, I have not been able to get it to work. Uh, so that's a big problem. Um, and you know, I was racking my brain, like what do I do? How do I get this to work? Um, it's not working. And finally, I, f I finally stumbled upon this website that says, push this button, hold this button down twice, and it'll print out, you know, a document that'll tell you all the information. And I'm like, yay! <laughs> I print it out, there's the IP address. You know, I, I go to the website of the IP address, change the IP, and boom, it works great. And in fact, it works better than it did when it was on a USB. So I was like prancing around the office. I was so happy and I, I wanted to like spread the news of my joy and wonder, but nobody was around. <laughs> so I kind of had to like have an extended joy and wonder. Uh, it, it's not very pretty. <laughs> uh, and then I finally found our IT guy and, um, and was like, yeah, I did this great thing. And he's like, good. And then he went on to do whatever he needed to do. It was, it was quite nice. <laughs> so that was my fun thing for today. Uh, I also, for you guys, um, I moved my gerbils. And you're thinking, why didn't you do that like ages ago? I didn't really have a reason to. Normally when I'm recording, they are asleep. And uh, not very noisy. But there, it's been recent that they've gotten more noisy. So I moved them away from my desk. They're normally to the sides of me. And uh, now they are not. They are far away and they can make as much noise as they please and they will not be heard on the recording. So cheers! 